Hi, I'm Cam Grant, and welcome to Cute Orange Family. Today, I'm working on a 4x4 birthday card for my husband. This video was filmed last year, but I'm getting around to editing it now. I had already stamped and die cut the cat image from the MFT I Need You stamp set, so it was ready to go. My husband grew up with many different animals cats, dogs, lizards, and fish. He's told me many stories about his beloved cat, Puffy. She's a calico. When we first started dating, I remember seeing long, deep scratch marks on his arms. I was a bit alarmed, but he was just playing with his cat. I colored the cat more like an orange tabby. I must have been thinking of Garfield. This is what she should have looked like. I used the Copic markers YR23, YR04, and RV11 for the nose and cheeks. Growing up, I had a hamster and fish. My sister had dogs and currently has two adorable cats. We get to pet sit from time to time, which my family loves. One time we tried to take them on a walk down the street. Well, there's a reason you don't see cats being walked. <laughs> They don't. My kids do like taking them outside in the backyard. They like to graze on the grass and usually make a mess inside. Our family who lives out west also has two adorable dogs. The kids love them too. I'm using a piece of white cardstock. It's a bit flimsy. I think it's the Recollections brand from Michaels. I used a piece of gray ribbon for the cat to hold on to. This punch um, is the Stamping Up's heart punch called Heart to Heart. They don't make their punches in this style anymore. They have the gray ones which are collapsible like the small heart punch I have here. I've had these punches for over 15 years now. Anytime I need some paper hearts, I use these punches. They still work well and I love the different sizes. If you don't have a heart punch, you can draw and cut out your hearts with a pair of scissors or use any other shaped punch you have. I found some lightweight colored paper at Staples called Astro Brights. They are 24 pound and I was able to punch them two at a time. There are a lot of possibilities. I could have glued them down like confetti falling on the paper. I could have lined them up in rows um, or made a shape like a circle with the hearts. I decided to do a rainbow across the top and have the sentiment on the bottom. I'm using Tombow multi-purpose glue. I've had this for over five years and it's still working. It may just be a little bit on the dry side. If you have a favorite glue, please let me know. I have purchased aqua glue from Michaels and Simon Says Stamp Glue. The Simon Says Stamp Glue was a bit hard for me to squeeze, um, but maybe it's just a bottle I received, so I'll probably try and buy a second bottle to see if that's normal. I have carpal tunnel in my wrists, so I like to use tools and products that are easy on my hands. When I was diagnosed with carpal tunnel, I was in denial for a couple of years. It got pretty bad before I finally admitted it to myself and accepted wearing wrist splints. They helped, so I'm glad I did. If you suspect you might have it, I would highly recommend um, getting yourself checked out by a doctor. If you've watched my past videos, you might have seen our pet fish Mimi. He's a male beta half moon fish with a silver body and red fins. We purchased him back in November of 2021. Beta fish are also known as Siamese fighting fish. They live in freshwater and are native to Southeast Asia. They are territorial and generally like being on their own. 
My mom once shared a story with me about how her brother caught them with his hands when they were kids living in Vietnam. It's so cool to hear about this, as I can only imagine. Before Mimi, there was Cinderella and Prince Bobo. Prince Bobo was our first betta fish. My mom-in-law, TJ Grant, wrote and illustrated a book about him in her series, The J.D. and Sammy Tales. This is a fun story with bright and colorful illustrations. If you're interested in reading it, the book is available on Amazon.ca. I'll add a link in my description. It's available in English, French, or both English and French, which is the copy that we own. She is an amazing writer. Here are two other kids books she wrote along with some activity books. However, if you're more interested in adult novels, she has a five book series. It's a historical romance called Saint Magloire. The book is a page turner and kept me up all night. It was beautifully written. So back to the card, I used the Simon Says Stamp handwritten borders. This is a great set. The cursive writing is so cute. They are still available online through the Simon Says Stamp store. If you're interested, I'll include a link in the description below. There was a little loop that I shouldn't have inked up when I was stamping it. Um, it looked a little funny, so I just covered it up with a heart. After I finished with the front of the card, I decided to add the rainbow sequence of hearts on the inside. I still had lots of extra hearts. I put them away to be used another time. I like adding photos to the inside or back of my cards. It's sometimes tough as I have so many on my phone. Here are a couple of photos I used from our earlier days together and the arrival of our kids. I just used regular computer paper, cut them out and glue them in. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the like button. Take care and have a great day.